Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out this evening. We have had such a fun time practicing for this play, and I know the band has worked very hard for a, a month or so on these songs. They're doing such a great job. We just are excited that you have come out to enjoy this evening with us. And we want to share God's love with you and the talents that our students have. So before we begin, if you will bow your heads and we'll start with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask you to send your spirit here and be with each one of these students. You know they're a little bit nervous and maybe totally scared, but they have worked so hard. Please help them to remember all the things that they've done, all the words that they've learned, the scripts, the motions. Help them to just do their very best and help everyone here to get a blessing out of learning about you and the sacrifice that you made by sending your son here. In your name I pray. Amen. This evening we're starting our program with our band. And our band director is Miss Talia Shoup. So she has been working with our students for quite a while. And we're just really pleased that the, the TAA has loaned her to us because she's very special to us. We are hearing from our beginning band first. This is their very first performance ever. So sit back and enjoy. Next, we're going to hear from some of our advanced band students. We have been doing something a little bit different this year. Instead of doing all of our music all together, I've had them split up into smaller groups and work on pieces with just their small group. So the first group we're going to hear is our trumpet trio playing O Come, O Come, Emmanuel.
Yes. No, you can sit right here. Okay, I think we're organized. So, playing in a smaller ensemble is about 2,000 times more nerve-wracking than playing in the big group, yeah? Do you agree? Yeah. Yes? So, they all did a great job for their first time doing that ever. We're going to start with our group pieces with green sleeves.
Wow, didn't they do such a fabulous job. They, let's give them another round of applause. I'm so impressed. Well, I have asked Nassim Estrada up here. He is our board chair. And I've asked him to help me out with just a little bit here. We have some pre uh, presentations to give out. The first one we'd like to start with is for our directors. So our first director is Ms. Shoup. Ms. Shoup works for the Academy. Come on over, come on over here. And we are so proud to have her as part of our TCE family. Thank you, Ms. Shoup. We really appreciate all the time you've dedicated us. I know you're alone with us, but we feel like you're part of our TCE family. As the students get to explore this ability to express themselves musically, it's a big part. So we thank you a lot. Uh, for dedicating the time and it sounded wonderful for the first time a lot of them playing in front and we missed having this last year so thank you very much thank you, thank you very much hurt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. all right next i would like to thank some of uh the behind the scenes people if you notice we have a beautiful set up here we had a decorating team if i can have my decorators come up that's um Lisa Heisey and Eva Gonzalez, if you'll t you two would come right on up. Come on up, please. Where are you? I saw... There they are. We might need some help. Oh, yes, okay. you can get it. <laughs> Lisa, we'll get it for you. <laughs> Eva, Lisa, thank you so much for doing this. It looks amazing. We can't wait for the kids to decorate it. I know it took long hours and your eye for lining up and doing a lot with few resources is amazing. You got here. Even with only one foot. So you just And in one foot. So the <laughs> next hand of applause to them, please. Oh, picture too. Picture, why not? Who do we have next? All right, next we have Mindy Chipman Bonden. Uh, she is Mindy. our helper extraordinaire. She has done all of our refreshments, so we just want to thank her. She's the wild card. We can also sh say that in a chessboard, she's the queen, right? Can do so many, many things, move in all directions. Thank you, Mindy. Appreciate it. Yes, picture, please. All right, who's coming up next? All right, next we have our other director. Where yes. is Miss Carla Contreras? Uh, she Where might be getting she? ready. She there she now. is. Come over here. Muchas gracias, Carla. I know you might have family here who's only Spanish speaking. Want to thank her. She's dedicated a lot of time, worked on the script, worked on rehearsals. We can't wait to see this. I know that events such as the Fall Festival, things like this that brings the community together, is something we've missed a lot. So thank you, Carla. We can't wait for it. Muchas gracias. Thank you. And all the work you'll see tonight, she has been directing this for us, and she does it as a volunteer. So we're just so thankful for her. She's just amazing. Absolutely. All right, now we have something special for our staff. Yes. Because they, too, have worked extremely hard Absolutely. getting the, everyone lined up, getting the songs learned, and all the logistics in between. So we're going to start with... Who do we, are we starting let's with? Let's see. Our newest staff member... And that is Emily. Mm -hmm. Emily Fernandez, if you'll come on up. Emily. Where oh, is she? This is, there's over there. She's over here. Oh, oh she's, she's with our little ones. Well, she just joined us, oh, on, I think a week ago. That's right. So she has joined us here. So I know she is busy getting them all lined up. So we'll give her her gift in a minute. Emily. Oh, she's. I think she is. We'll have to drag her up we'll here. We'll take care of it and make sure she gets it. <laughs> She's so busy. All right. Next, we have, let's see, is Forrest here? Forrest, come on up. Yes. And Pam, Welcome. where are you? Welcome. Pam, come on up. Yes, Pam. Welcome. <laughs> Very important uh, people who really look after our, our kids here. It's so amazing to have them uh, Absolutely. Be joining. So thank you. Come on, go ahead. Pam helps us in our after school program and does tutoring for us. And Forrest does our before care. And they are both just wonderful help. 
Absolutely. My kids get here early. Here. They want thank to be you. able to spend time together. So thank you. All right. And now um, let's bring up our office manager, Randall. Randall, where Hello. are you, Randall? Is Randall here? She has to. There, there she, she is. is. She's coming down. A little shy. Randall's been such an amazing work. Talk about another multifunctioning, Absolutely. amazing staff member who does we a lot of do everything, it Randall. Her. Thank you so much, Thank Randall. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. From handing phone calls, emails, forms, printing. I can keep going on Absolutely. and on. Absolutely. Right? Uh, yeah, and she does it all, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Randall. All right, now I want my teachers to come up. Come on, all of you, come on up. Teachers, come on, come on up. I know you're busy. You're getting ready for certain I know. parts. You're the all kids in your will spots. behave, right? You kids but can do all right with our teachers. Stop for just a second. Let's give my hand of applause, please. No, 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 no. Come on, come on over. More to the middle. This is your time to shine. Come on down over here. Yes, come on. Step on down. I'll step down. There you go. You can. You can I'll stay down here. Welcome, welcome. I cannot tell you what just an amazing group of ladies these are. It just is a joy to come and work with them every day. We support each other, we work together, and they are just an amazing team. So thank you for everything that you do, ladies. And we have just a small gift. You are worth so much more, but we just wanted to give you a small gift. Absolutely. I want to thank our teachers. They're doing a, a lot. They've been adapting to the different demands that new curriculum has brought, that COVID has brought. They still want each student to have a great <laughs> experience and this is a small token of our appreciation we want to thank miss and yes Mrs. young too we love mrs young couldn't do it without her thank you for everything and mr young too thank you yes we want to thank miss young for all the leadership so thank you it's been unprecedented times and we appreciate your leadership thank you all right ladies you may go back to your positions and we'll turn it over to you Thank you, thank you. So, um, at this moment, we're going to be readying uh, to pick up an offering. So, those who are going to be helping us with the offering, if you guys can start um, getting in your positions, those who will be helping us with the offering. So, um, we have looked at different ways to make our school better. Being able to return to a program like this is a big priority. Um, you know, we do rely on a lot of volunteers. We do use the resources that we have. And we are able to put on a uh, program such as this. One of the biggest uh, challenges we had at the beginning of this year is we didn't know how many students we were going to have. We prayed a lot to God to help us make the choices and the decisions that we can make with regards to how many, how many teachers we were going to have, what type of uh, classrooms we were going to uh, take, if we needed to make cuts. And we chose to cut very little. Um, Ms. Young and, and Randall and her team have really taken a look at our, our finances, and God has blessed the school. There are many things that are happening that we cannot take credit. We have more students than we thought we were going to get. So this is such, such a blessing. One project that is a little bit more numbers-wise student here is our STEM project. I don't know how many of you have been able to uh, go into that new place in our uh, school, but these are hands-on learning experiences that our kids get to do from, uh, you know, working on dentistry, from, I think, working on injections. I'm not so sure about that one, but I think they do actually work on putting injections to um, um, engineering, right, computer programming. I know Ms. Kelsey is also going to be very interested in doing some camera work. But our STEM lab does have some costs that when we use it, we need to replenish it, right? The big components we, we have been able to purchase with some grants, with some donations, but we want this to be an experience for our younger generations. As you see, our little ones, when they get up to uh, the, the upper grades, they're going to be able to participate in this. So we're going to dedicate this offering for our STEM project, and hopefully funds can continue to go into this ability because it's so wonderful to have education that is hands-on. So, if you bow your heads, uh, we're going to have a prayer over this offering. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your blessings. 
we we are not able to do anything without your that is there without glorifying your name everything we do we praise you we thank you there there are things that we let our human mind guide us that's why we seek you in prayer we seek that you continue to guide us to lead us uh, to bless us not just individually but as a community we believe in an education that's strong in academics in music in science but also in an education that teaches children about your love and that you care for them and that you're uh, their savior please bless the offering that we're about to pick up here because we want to honor you as we guide this little lambs of yours that you've uh, put in our care for this time in the name of jesus we pray amen
Are you sure this is the right place? It better be. I had to walk two miles to get here. It looks like this room is set up for the Christmas party. Just look at that Christmas tree. Oh, wow. Look at all of those lights. It's so pretty in here. Where are we? There's a sign tie. Soccer team sign-ups. Well, I brought my ball. And we're in our jerseys. Should we give it a try? We came all this way. We sure did. Okay, so give me an S-O. S-O. C-C. C-C. E-R. E-R. Soccer. 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 Look, everybody. The kids have come. I have my doubts. Now, Mr. Nolan, don't you pay any attention to Mr. Holt. He's just hungry. Yeah, he needs a Snickers bar. Thank you, Command Patty. But let's try to stay focused on what's important. This is great, but the kids sure are dressed oddly for practice. Now, Tom, you just need your eyes checked. As much as I appreciate this banter, it's time to get started. I brought the extra books in case. And I got the bells you asked for. I brought the tambourines. I think we're ready. Okay, look sharp. These must be the coaches. Are you sure? They don't look like any coaches I've ever seen. They look like parents. Parents? Try grandparents. <laughs> Misha, can you say geezers? <laughs> Riley, you're out of bounds on that one. Yeah, Riley, that's not going to win us any favors with these coaches. I'm just kidding, Carrie. Boys and girls, we're so glad you've come to join our team. Just set the cookies and the punch on the table. Here's the ladle, and don't forget to set out the candies. Can you say geezers with goodies? Riley, stop that. Boys and girls, we're so glad you've come to join our team. Thank you. We are excited to be here. I am the director, Mr. Nolan. He must be the director of the league. And this is our secretary, Grandma Gertie. I told you just put the sign out and the kids would come. Uh, okay. And by the piano, and by the piano is Miss Mabel, our accompanist. Accompanist? That's right. I make cookies. I do hope you like Christmas cookies. Yeah, yes. we love them. And punch. And Christmas songs. We love everything about Christmas. We sure do.
songs of joy. Why, that's just what the carols are. And did you hear? They sang with us on Joy to the World. Oh, but this fellow next to me. What's your name, Spart? It's Riley, and I don't sing. I play soccer. I see. Um, Mr. Nolan, my name's Carrie. Now about the soccer team. Is it indoor soccer? Soccer? Will we play tournaments or just scrimmage? Who will be our coach? When does the season start? It's not on your sign. Our sign? Oh dear, I'm afraid our sign is a little misleading. So, you thought our sign was for the sport, with the kicking and the passing and the dribbling. No, no, no. Our soccer stands for Society of Christmas Carolers Emergency Rescue. Huh? What? I'm clueless. Is this, huh? a, is this a joke? What? what? I'm so confused. The Society of Christmas Carolers has met as far back as we can remember. But in the past few years, fewer and fewer people have been learning the Christmas carols, so we decided to add ER for emergency rescue. This is all we have left. The sign was to recruit new members. A rescue team? To save Christmas carolers from extinction, we were so hoping you would join our soccer team. We are really needing some new young people to join. Oh, I'm afraid you don't want us, Grandma Joan. We don't know many carols either. Which proves our point. Young people used to know at least Silent Night or Away in a Manger, but even those on the EC list. The EC list? Endangered carols. To be honest, I don't know all the words to Silent Night or Away in the Manger. Yeah, but we do know a lot of other Christmas carols. Why don't we learn your favorite songs about Jesus' birth and you learn our favorite carols? Didn't you hear me? I don't sing. I play soccer. That's a shame, because after we rehearse, we have home delicious homemade cookies and party punch. Chocolate chip? Double chocolate chip? Ice cream punch? Peppermint party punch. That sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. I love double chocolate chip cookies. Yum. Well, I guess I could sit on the sidelines and just listen. Good assist, Riley. There's just one problem. I'm afraid our Christmas songs might be a little too hip for the Society of Christmas Carolers. We don't want to startle anyone. Too hip? But you forget, Carrie. Someone used to be <laughs> hippies. Peace and love, baby. <laughs> Those were the days.
way to go to the goal. You guys can get down. Oh, getting down is easy. It's, you know, that's the hard part. Considering that song was published the year you were born. Now, Joan, you know that carol was written 150 years ago? You're kidding me. Why, no, and it's one of the newer carols. Newer carols? Yes, Carrie, the lyrics were written in 1868 by Bishop Philip Brooks of Philadelphia. He wanted a simple carol that the children could sing for Christmas. So thinking of his recent trip to the Holy Land, he wrote the, the, the words to a little town of Bethlehem. It really paints a beautiful picture of the night Jesus was born. I agree. And it's easy to learn. It had to be. The church organist didn't finish the music till the day the kids arrived to sing. Hey, hey, let's not diss the accompanist. All the directors have to do is wave one eye while I play with both hands, keep one eye on the music and one eye on you. Which you do so admirable, Mabel, and if you'd like, I'd like to share in another one of the songs with the boys and girls.
Christmas is like a big birthday party for Jesus, isn't it, Ty? Yeah, but I'd rather have birthday cake than fruit cake. Yeah. Fruit cake isn't my favorite. I can't stand fruit cake. No way. Christmas without fruit cake would be like a morning without metamucil. <laughs> yes, and traditions make the season even more special. Like eating Christmas cookies. And singing Christmas songs. And reading the Christmas story. And decorating the tree. Don't forget the presents. Let's not forget the hot cocoa. Can't wait to get you my tummy. Don't forget the snickerdoodles, my favorite. And, those, and for those who couldn't read or didn't have a Bible, learn Christmas songs through Christmas stories through uh, music. Christians in the Middle Ages sing plain songs to tell about the Savior's birth. Plain songs? What was song playing about them? Plain songs weren't sung. They were chanted or spoken in a rhythm. You know, Riley like rap. You mean like, I'm in the mood for the food, let's get to the punch. Yo, bring on the cookies, because I never had lunch. <laughs> That's ripping, Riley. Does anyone know any Christmas rap? The only raps I know is around my Christmas presents. Come on, Riley, you got time to deliver the angel's message in a big bundle of Christmas wrap. You can do it. Let's hear it. You got this. Okay, but remember, rapping is a different league from singing. Then wrap it up, dude. Turn for shepherds and fields where they lay. And fields where they lay, keeping the sheep on the cold winter's night that was so deep. Forward, sing praises to our heavenly Lord Who had made heaven and earth of naught And with his blood mankind of blood
That was pretty cool, huh? Especially with these Christmas beads, my bling bling. Wow, that was so cool. I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> Playing songs. Playing so wait, music is what makes the message joyful. That's why play that's why melodies were added to the plain songs and became carols. Songs of joy. And after that, people used carols to spread the joy of Christmas. People in England used songs like What Shout Is This in the First Noel. The French used songs like Angels we have heard on Come All Ye Faithful. In Poland they sing Infant Holy, Infant Lowly, and the Germans wrote Silent Night. Wait a minute, what songs come from our side of the pond? Have you heard of Gotilla on the Mountain? We learned about that song during Black History Month. Yeah, but Gotilla on the Mountain is spiritual, not a Christmas carol. What's your call, Mr. Nolan? Officially, it's a carol. Because when we sing it, we tell the story of Jesus' birth. That's awesome. Here, here.
You know, you know your carols are pretty cool when the game plan includes a little southern gospel, a little r- rap, and a little soul. But could we switch to Misha's favorite? What's that, Misha? It's a lot of different things. Americana, mountain music. You mean bluegrass? Yes, sir. How'd you know? A man of music came from folks like mine who love to sing about Jesus because that's all they had. Well, the song's about Jesus. Sing it for us, Misha. Come on out, let her rip. Let's have the man of man defense. Cody! So I'm waiting for the rehearsal, Grandma. My soccer game, game ran over, but I blocked three goals. Way to go, man! Uh, that's awesome. Give it up for the holy goalie. Boys and girls, this is Gertie's grandchild, Cody. Hey, I know these guys. They go in my school. Hey, Carrie, Ty, Misha. What's up, Riley? Cody, don't tell me you're in the society of Christmas carolers. You're like the best goalie in the league. If that means athletes, athletes don't sing, 
I suggest you read your Bible. Riley, look up a guy named King David. He wrote and sang songs of praise, and still managed to kill a giant and win a few battles. And don't forget a major player named Jubal, and the thousands of Levite priests in charge of worship music. Hey, I can get into worship music. I just close my eyes and sway the beat. And if, really, if you really love Jesus, you can worship him with any music. But I have to say, there's something special on, on of us about a smile on a person's face face when they hear a familiar Christmas carol. Well, our arrangement isn't so familiar. Yeah, Cody, I think we might have stretched the society a bit. What are they talking about, Mr. Nolan? Well, you might say we've added a little pep to our step. A little sass to our past. Uh-huh. And it says swing is singing, we've been swinging.
right, let's hear it for the geezers. Okay, Cody, if you're really in this soccer team, tell me what's your favorite Carol. Okay, that would be my that that would be my birthday Carol. You were born on Christmas? Nope, July twenty fifth. <sighs> but Christmas was today. I gave my heart to Jesus, so that I call that my spiritual spiritual birthday. That's amazing, Cody. I never thought of a spiritual birthday before. Emmanuel. That's right, and if you make him your savior this Christmas, it can be your birthday carol, too. That would be the best play you've ever made. A solid win for the team. Much of a reception, no room in the inn. You were no exception. How could they know you were a king unless they heard angels sing? Song of God, yet a stranger. Joseph did his best. Clean straw in your manger What shepherds heard the awesome news They came to honor you Well I want to do that too I receive you Jesus I will welcome you I receive you Jesus I want to worship you, I want to worship you. Jesus, I 
Jesus, I want to worship you. I want to worship you. For there's room in my heart for you. Caught you singing, Riley. Was I? Well, I didn't mean to. I guess the song just kind of flowed out of my heart. That's what true worship is, a natural expression for your love to Jesus. Whether it's praise, choruses, hymns, or carols, the most important thing is that we welcome Jesus with the presence of our, into our hearts. And that's why I like to be a starter on your team. All right. Let's do it. I knew you'd warm up to it. Hey, we'll be the first ones on the field. Pass those carol books. I think it's time to bring out your famous punch. I'm backing you up. Hey, how about learning a little town in Bethlehem to sing with me at the school Christmas concert? How about we all lead the Christmas Eve service at church? What do you think? How about we just carol around our neighborhood after dark? Hey, either you're in the game or you're not. Okay, yes, we'll do it. Well, Mr. Nolan, the players seem excited about learning the carols. Now we just need to keep the team fired up. Oh, I think Gertie's got a plan up her sleeve. Listen, everybody, Gertie's here with a little soccer team spirit. Yes, and thanks to you, we'll give our voices some Christmas punch. Party punch. Thanks to Riley and Mr. Nolan, our carols are all wrapped up for Christmas. Glad to do it. And thanks to Jesus, who was born to be God with us, we'll always have this Christmas cheer. Give me an S O S O C C C C E R E R Soccer Soccer Soccer.
Now join me as we use the carols to tell the wonderful story of Christmas. This is where you get to join us. You've been hearing them sing all evening. Now we want to hear you. We'll be putting those words up on the screen and singing lots of carols. Please join with all of them. Caesar Augustus issued a decree that his sons should be taken. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth to Bethlehem to register a man who was pledged to be married to him and expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in nature, because there's no place for them in the earth. shepherds keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared and said, I bring you good news of joy. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared, praising God and saying, Glory to the highest and on earth. Peace to all men. Shepherd said, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing which the Lord has told us about. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said to the prophets. The virgin will be with child and give birth to a son, and they will call him a man, which means God with us. When they had seen him, 
The shepherds spread the word, glorifying and praising them for all the things they had seen, heard and seen, which were just as been as they were. We'll take a bow. Let's give them a big round of applause. And a special round of applause for our nativity, our K and one. And for our choir. And if I had my soloist come down, they were brave enough to be soloists, come right on down. And one more time for our director, if you will go ahead and stand up. All right. Isn't this fun? My face hurts from smiling. <laughs> this has been a tremendous evening. So much work has gone into this. Uh, and it, it just turned out so, so well. What a tribute to our staff and to our program. Um, it's nothing short of a miracle. I, I was here during most of the practicing uh, in my office while they were practicing. And sometimes the sounds coming from the sanctuary were, were so precious, so holy. I would have to stand up and go to my door and close my solid oak door because it was too wonderful. And I would take towels and I would plug the cracks because it was, I didn't want to spoil it. This is, I'm, I'm totally impressed. What a blessing and uh, what a great way to, uh, to come closer to the uh, Christmas day and the Christmas season. Will you bow your heads with me? God, we love you so much. Thank you for our kids. Thank you for their, their joy and their creativity and their willingness. Thank you for a, a school that they can uh, learn about you at and that we can celebrate uh, the meaning of this season. Uh, the, it is the time that we recognize your birth. You're coming to this earth to rescue us from sin and to show us the love of the Father, Lord. Thank you for uh, everyone, the hours and hours that have gone into costumes, that have gone into music, that have gone into decorations and snacks and everything involved. Lord, we just uh, uh, give you all the glory. Um, Father, as this uh, program closes, I pray that we would continue in the spirit of joy and friendship as we enjoy our snacks and as we head back home. Keep us safe. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. God bless.